I have no doubt that the upcoming elections in the Republic of Botswana, Republic of Mozambique, Republic of Namibia, and Republic of Mauritius will be free, fair, and held in a peaceful environment. The region will continue to hold elections in line with SATEC principles and guidelines governing democratic elections. Despite the region taking significant steps towards attaining its developmental objectives, industrialization, however, remains slow. SADC is determined to achieve regional industrialization through flagship strategies, such as the Regional Indicative Strategic Development Plan, the Regional Infrastructure Development Master Plan, and the SADC Industrialization Strategy and roadmap. In this regard, the 38th Strategic Summit held in Bendug in August 2018 adopted the summit theme, and I quote, promoting infrastructure development and youth empowerment for sustainable development, unquote. The theme expressed our commitment to infrastructure development, a catalyst for youth empowerment and employment creation. As he hands over the chairmanship of the regional body, President Gengop expressed optimism that his successor, John Magufuli, would continue to steer the region right from where he left off. Yes, things have been moving in the right direction. A major milestone was reached with the African Continental Free Trade Area Agreement ratified and entered into force on the 30th of May, 2019. Subsequently, the African Continental Free Trade Area was formally launched on 7th July, 2019 in Niamey, Niger, during the 12th extraordinary session of the African Union's Assembly. The SADC region is destined to accrue immense benefits that will uh, contribute to the economic growth and development in the region. SADC Day is commemorated annually on the 17th of August to reflect on the progress made in implementing the regional integration agenda and SADC's future development plans. Blanche Corres, NBC News.